This video starts a course on group theory. I'm going to start with the, the very basic definitions and move on. Okay, first definition, uh, binary operation. Uh, let G be a set a binary operation on G the binary operation is on the set G a binary operation on G is a function that assigns um, each ordered pair of elements of G an element of G so this means this means imagine you have a set here the set will be G and you have element A B and C a binary operation will be a binary operation on G so if you have any operation A operation B performing this operation you get C this can also be written this way uh, so operating operating A on B you get C but this is more abstract okay this is the usual way we do operations right so A operation B you get C and um, A B and C they all belong to G now we get into the definition of a group so um, a group G I'm going to call the operation star a group G star is a set G closed under a binary operation um, now I, I called star to the operation okay and a, a binary operation um, a star such that um, the following the following axioms um, are satisfied okay number one for all a b and C in G we have a operation B equals a operation B operation C and if a operation B operation C equals to a operation B operation C okay if you can associate them okay that's the first axiom okay so this is called associativity 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 of course of operation star so operation star is associative 
um, two. Second, if there is an element E, E stands for identity, okay? I'm going to use E as ID, okay? Identity. Uh, if there is an element identity in G such that for all X in G, E operation X equals X operation identity equals X, so uh, this is an element that if you perform the operation with any other element you get the same element okay so yeah this is a, a particular element called the identity this is called the identity element okay X operated with the identity you get X on both sides okay okay third axiom corresponding to each A, to each element in G, there is an element A prime, A inverse in G, such that A operation A prime equals the identity, and A prime operation A equals the identity. This is called the inverse, the inverse A prime of A. Okay. So, in order to have a group, we need three axioms, okay? First, we need, this is G, so G is a set, right? This is a set, and this is the operation, okay? A set and an operation. Um, Number one, if the operation is the associativity of the operation, then you check if there is an identity element in that set under that operation. And three, you check if to each element, to each element um, in, in G, if there is a inverse element, meaning an element that if you operate uh, with that element, you get the identity. Okay, let us take some examples. Um, for instance, the, the integers. Um, this this z I I think you guys know the, the well these are the integers they come from a German word um, I think we write it like this Zahlen okay and this means something like number or something something like that okay so the integers with the operation addition. Um, is that a is, is that a group? Well, you can check, right? You can check if they are if if you take the elements and if they they are associative, and if there is a element uh, that is the identity, and if there is a, an inverse, okay, and you will see that. Yes, this is a group. What about the rational numbers under addition? Well, um, under addition, yes, this is a group too. And of course, real numbers under addition. Uh, this probably, this is a, this is a, a, a group too. Um, well, in, in each case, what is the identity? Well, the, the, the identity for these three groups will be the element zero, right? Because, let us take this one, if we do zero plus any element in Z will be equals to A 
plus 0 equals a. So 0 will be the identity. Okay? And the inverse, any element you pick, for instance, in z, a, uh, under addition, you always uh, have, you always have minus a, right? Minus a plus a, you get 0. And 0 is the identity. Okay, so minus a will be the inverse, the inverse for the, um, the addition. And the same goes for the rationals and for the, the real numbers. Okay, let's see now another set, for instance, okay, the, the integers, but this time under the operation m multiplication, the usual multiplication of numbers. Um, is this a group? Well, you say if I'm if I multiply um, any three elements, right? Number one, if I do Um, if I do this, okay, under multiplication, this is true, so associativity would be okay, um, but uh, what about identity? Well, identity could be number one, right? Because a times 1 equals 1 times A equals A, so you would say, okay, I have an identity. Uh, I don't know if you have an identity for all, all elements, but okay, okay. What about the inverse? Well, let us take an element in Z, for instance. It can be, imagine the element is 2. 2 is in Z, right? Well, the inverse, the a multiplicative inverse of 2 would be 1 half but 1 half is not in Z so it's not in the, the, the set of the integers so the inverse fails so the set of the integers under multiplication this is not a group <laughs>